Welcome students. In this video, we are going to talk about a question that deals with the concept of creating equations. And this is going to be our example four. I have picked this question from your Triumph Learning Book for um, Performance Coach for Algebra 1. So let us first read the question. Cassandra has a bag of 75 beads. She uses She used seven beads to make a bracelet. She wants to make necklaces from the rest. How many necklaces did she make if one necklace uses 13 beads? So we will go by the step. First, we read the question. Now we are going to identify the meat of the problem, like we say. So meat is basically highlighting the important parts of the problem. Another meat point that I would highlight or circle is that she uses seven beads to make a bracelet. She wants to make necklaces and the other meat point here is that one necklace uses 13 beads, but we don't know how many necklaces we need to make. So important here is that total number of beads is equal to 75. Now she has already used seven beads to make the bracelet. So seven beads to make the bracelet has already been used. For the rest of the beads that are left, she wants to make necklaces. Now one necklace uses 13 beads. So I don't know how many necklaces she make. I can take the number of necklaces as n. I hope that makes sense. See, I have created my equation after reading, identifying the meet points. I have created the equation that holds true for this given question. Again, total number of beads 75, 7 already used for bracelet. Necklaces, I have no clue how many she makes, but I do know that she uses 13 beads for one necklace. So that is my setting up part here. And now we will try to solve and identify the necklaces. So I have to get rid of 7. So I subtract 7 from both the sides. Gone from here, 13n equals 75 minus 7, which is 68. All right, so 13n equals 68. n is still grumpy, so we will divide by 13 on both the sides. And that gives us n equal to 5.23. That means about five necklaces for sure she can make. So what we do in questions like these in real life is obviously you cannot have a five and a half necklace, right? So you will either have a full necklace or you'll have no necklace or you'll have one necklace. So here we'll pick the whole number and we'll say, well, she makes about five necklaces. So I hope it made some sense, students. The other way to do was that you could have subtracted 75 minus 7 already to give you the number of beads left. That is 68. And you could have divided that by 13 to find the number of necklaces. That's another way of uh, doing the question. But at times, you know, they ask you about the equation only and not ask you the answer. So for that, you need to know how to actually build an equation from a question. So I hope I made some sense here. I truly appreciate your time and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.